Morning. Still early morning in Arizona, so I'm still in Arizona time. It's kind of hard to get used to this time and then uh, to the humidity. Uh, where I come from, it's dry. But uh, like I said, it's an honor to be here, uh, to be recognized with these individuals here on the, on the stage here, because uh, I think we all went through the same journey. Um, what I remember about coaching and working with is, is the journey and the time that you have with the kids, uh, the student athletes that you spent so much hours with. You know, you, you have them in class, and then you have them like two to three hours after school. And that's where you really get to know your athletes. Uh, I also remember the, uh, the bus rides. Uh, I remember when I graduated from college, I, I, uh, I took a bus from Arizona to go to school here in, in Kansas and Oklahoma. So on my way home on the bus, I said, I'm never gonna ride a bus again. I'm gonna fly, I'm gonna take a train. And for 36 years now, I've been riding a bus every weekend. <laughs> every weekend, you know, with 30 some kids. And uh, I think that's what I remember is that those bus rides with the kids because uh, you have to stop and make meals, you know, meals and then restroom breaks. You know, every 10 miles, you have to restroom break. <laughs> and, uh, and the one on one meetings that you have with the kids, you know, on the bus where you get to sit down one on one be uh, just encouragement, support, you know, because as athletes, we all know how it is to be nervous before that competition. You try to, you know, have the kids relax. Um, you know, and all the relationships that you make along the way with these uh, kids and their families. Uh, you know, I come from a, a small village of about 500 people, and these kids that I work with come also come from villages, and uh, they're little, even little smaller villages that that I come from, and um, you know, um, like like we said, the relationships that you build with these kids, God, you know, you have them for four years since they're freshmen. They come in and they're just like, you know, and then by the time they graduate, they're eighteen year olds. You know, they become mature. You know, and you encourage them, you inspire them to to be successful in life. And I think that's the one thing that I preach is that, you know, no matter Success is different to all of us, and we have to find that, you know, there's that purpose. And that's what I try to instill in these kids is that you have to find your purpose in life. And I'm just a little bit of, the, of your life. And, uh, you know, we always talk about that championship mentality, that championship attitude. You have to have that every day, whether you come to practice, whether you're in school, whether you're in the races, or whether you're in the game, you know, so, um, those are the relationships that you build along the way. And I think the friendship too, that was fun. When I was an athlete, I, would, I remember my teammates too, you know, up to this day, my wife gets tired of my war stories, you know, so-and-so, you know, so did this, did this, and this is what they did in the locker room, or this is how they shut the ball or whatever, you know. So all the friendships that you made along the way is what I remember. And same thing with the kids that you coach, you, you build that, that relationship that individual thread that's right there. You know, you can't see it, but you know it's there. So, um, you know, these are the things that I that I remember. The fun times, you try to remember the fun times. You try to enjoy that. Uh, you know, it's, sometimes we get too caught up in competition that sometimes we forget the fun side of athletics. You know, so um, these are the things that I remember. You know, you know, the mentors along the way, your coaches. Uh, my high school coach had just passed away last week. And uh, he's the one guy that, uh, this was, you gotta remember, this was in the 70s. And I remember him pulling me into the locker room and just getting me, you know, right up in my face and telling me, hey, you know, he, he told me, you're not a basketball player. You're not a football player. I played no sport. He said, you're a runner. And you're gonna make it in running, no matter where, where, what you do. And I always remember that. And since that day, I followed that. I followed this advice all the way to my four years of high school and into college and up to this day. And I think that was the inspiration that I need. I need someone to tell me, say, hey, wake up. This is, this is who you are. This is your goal. This is your dream. This is your life. This is your career. This is what you're going to be. And I took that to heart. And I think that's what I try to instill in the kids that I work with. 
is that, hey, you know, find yourself, find your purpose in life. And let's, let's write it from here on now. Thank you.